Hey guys, and welcome back to Style by McKenzie. Today I'm going to be doing my 2018 What I Got for Christmas video. This is probably the most highly requested video I get of the year, so I wanted to sit down today and film that for you guys. I have everything broken up into sections and I have my Christmas PJs on right now. I know that this is going up a little bit later than most people's what I got for Christmas, but it is because we do Christmas at my house on regular Christmas and then I head to New York to see the other half of my family and when we go there, we um, I get gifts from my aunts, uncles, and other set of grandparents. So I always wait till we get home to film like the big what I got for Christmas. So yeah, of course this video isn't meant to brag I just get so many requests for it that I decided to film it yet again so without further ado let's hop right in I'm going to be sharing everything in this hunter box first everything in here is like little stuff that I got just like tchotchkes things that came in my stocking and smaller gifts like that I really hope this camera is in focus guys this is okay so the first thing I got is the like to know it stories from the influencer next door book um, this is a huge blogging book and it basically has stories from all these different influencers their pictures how they got started etc and I really really love this book um, I had wanted this forever and my mom picked it up for me for Christmas I also got You Are a Badass. I always get one book a year and I cannot wait to read this. We always get one movie a year too and this year I got The Greatest Showman. Okay, I also got the Anastasia Contour Kit. I've had this since 8th grade but I needed a new one because mine was seriously so gross and I had used so much of like each pan that I needed a new one. I got a black beanie because my one from last year got ruined. This is from the brand CC and then I got a yellow hat. Uh, you guys are going to see so much yellow in this haul and if you saw the blog I announced where I'm going to college next year so um, I am headed to Kent State and their colors are navy and gold so I have a lot of yellow coming your way. I also got tights because I have been wanting some really really sheer ones to wear with dresses and skirts so I picked those up. I also got three scrunchies. These are from, they're huge, which makes me love them so much. I love big scrunchies. These are from Nordstrom Rack and there's a black, gray, and little tan one in there. I got a lot of face masks. I got some Coolagen um, Hydrogel under eye patches. I got tons of dry shampoo because I literally never wash my hair. Um, the Not Your Mother's is my favorite. My favorite one of the two is the Clean Freak. Um, the tropical one in the scent warm sugar. I also got a bunch of calligraphy related things. My mom is trying to get into calligraphy I think and I've always been super into like handwriting, bible journaling and stuff like that. So I got some pens, um, a how to letter book and then a few more like just calligraphy pens that you use in the book. I also got my planner for the year. I love the Happy Planner and I got a size large last year. I literally adored the planner. I like the horizontal style, which if you don't know what that looks like, is like this kind of spread. Um, I already have like December, I copied in December. And um, unfortunately, they do not make the horizontal style in a size large anymore, so I did have to get a medium and I got the rose gold and black just because I don't like colors in my planner. I just like it to be like super simple, gold, black, rose gold, white, you know. So I did get some stickers for that, a couple more pens. I got some deodorant and then a little baby not your mother's. I got some shower gels, a little bit of washi tape. I got the Buxom like lip gloss set. They do a lip gloss every year and Buxom lip glosses are literally my favorite. So I was super excited about this one. I got a little Burt's Bees conditioning lip scrub. Um, some more washi tape, an Anastasia liquid lipstick. But I did get a new gold fossil watch. I love watches and I wear one almost every day. I had a gold one a while back but it actually cracked so I just got a new one and I'm super happy about it. I love this and then my mom also got me a mantra band and I'm gonna layer this next to that watch and I'm super excited. The saying that she got me is dream, believe, achieve which she thought was super fitting. So typically I go person by person who got me what when I do my what I got for Christmas but this year it was just easier to kind of break things up into like smaller things shoes clothes and then like a couple of gifts from other people so these are just I'm gonna tell you who everything's from my big gift from my parents this year were short yellow hunters and then the gold watch that I showed you earlier whoa 
So I did get the short yellow. They are more of a gold, which is perfect because like I said, my school colors next year are navy and gold and my school colors now are dark green and gold. And I wear yellow every day, um, every home game during baseball season. So I'm always wearing yellow and I wear hunters most during baseball because the field is super duper muddy and it's um, just like really convenient to wear rain boots even if it's not raining because it's easy to scrape the mud off I don't have to worry about my feet being super dirty in the dugout um, they're easily the most convenient shoes and I wanted a short pair because they do have tall green ones and tall black ones I did get a gift card from my uncle for Christmas and I immediately went to Target and picked out a couple of pairs of shoes I am going to order a pair online once they do their buy one get one 50 deal but I wanted to wait I did get their light brown faux suede over the knee boots. These are an eight and a half and I do wear an eight, but I just went up for the half size because these were literally $20 and they are typically 40 and they were on clearance for 20. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'll just go up the half size. I wear so thick socks with them anyways, so they're not too big or anything. So I got, um, obviously just the brown pair and then I did pick up a black pair of over the knees because the pair that I have now are from DSW and I've had them for two and a half years and they were getting like kind of gross so it was time to replace them and get a new pair so I did just get black ones. I did get two pairs of heels that were kind of just like a treat to myself um the first pair that I got are these silver and they're sort of like silver and black and they are from Payless. These were like $10 and I actually got these because my sister's boyfriend was ordering me a gift from Payless. He got me the most adorable snakeskin booties and I'm obsessed with these and we actually needed like five more dollars to get free shipping and I had wanted those heels anyways so I was like, you know what, just I'll get the shoes and pay the $10. So our total for like both pairs of shoes I think was like $30 for two pairs so not bad I love the snake skin I've been wanting to pair for so long these just have the smallest point about a one and a half inch heel and I cannot wait to wear those I also was at Old Navy after Christmas when they were having an additional 30% off their clearance and I saw these rose gold block heels you guys know how big um, of a fan I am of block heels probably like three to four days a week during school just because I wear so many dresses and they are the easiest height to wear um, super comfortable these were $18 with an additional 30% off of that so I picked these up just because I was like I need them um, I have so many pairs of them I have gold nude um, pink velvet maroon velvet black and then an entirely sparkly pair and now the rose gold so I know that they'll be worn <laughs> and then the last pair of shoes that I got this Christmas were these brown sock booties from my grandma these were from Old Navy and they were having an awesome sale. All their boots were under $20 one day, so I picked these up for her to get me and I love them. I love the sock style. This is a really comfortable height for me to wear it to school and I know that I'll get lots of use out of it. Okay, moving on, on to the good stuff. This first gift that I'm going to show you is from my second family. I'm not gonna show you everything that I got from them, just a few things. I did get a Kent State baseball shirt just because this is my baseball fam. And I'm really, really excited to wear this some more. I already have worn it for like a week straight to bed, um, but I'm just really happy about that. I also got a set of Peter Thomas Roth face masks and I've already used one of them. I used the pumpkin enzyme mask and boy did this tingle my face like you can definitely tell that that's doing something I've used the cucumber gel mask before it's one of the most relaxing things ever and it definitely hydrates your face and then the one I haven't tried yet is the Hungarian thermal water mineral rich atomic heat mask so I'm going to try that one when one of the next days she knows how much I love face masks and I'm super excited about these I'm all face mask out guys I also did get a very generous gift card from their family to Sephora so I went and picked up a few things that you're going to see I just filmed this makeup look and I'm going to be posting that a couple of days after this so you'll see all these products in action I got the Anastasia glow kit in sun dipped I got a little tart set that has their lights camera lashes it has like a little cream and then it has one of their lipsticks and I'm really excited about that I got the creme brulee violet Voss palette that's literally so gorgeous it's what I have on my lids now on my lids yeah I got the Huda Beauty palette in Mauve Obsessions and it's so beautiful. I've been wanting to try a Huda palette forever. And then the last thing I got was the Dry Bar Mini Triple Sec. So 
it's been quite a while since I've purchased new makeup and I was so excited to pick some out. So thank you very much if you guys are watching this. I love you more than anything. All right, we're going to be moving on to the clothes and I have so many clothes and you guys are probably like, Mihenzi, you don't need any more clothes. And yes, I know I have tons of clothes, but um, that's like really what I like and what I want for Christmas. So. I have everything in a very specific order. I did want to throw in this purse before I begin the clothes just because I forgot that I had gotten this from my mom. Um, it's like the coolest purse ever. It's just got fringe right here and then um, it's just pretty small inside. I don't know, I just really love crossbodies like this and we had found this one day while shopping at Nordstrom Rack and we were like, now that's a cool purse. So we picked that up. Okay, the things that I'm about to show you are from both my mom and dad, Santa. So yeah. Okay, the first thing I got, oh, and before I begin, I pretty much picked out all these clothes, so I like knew that what I was getting, and um, obviously I'm not returning anything because I had been with my mom when she purchased these things like months in advance, so the first thing I got is this black t-shirt dress from Old Navy. I have this in plenty of colors. It's super comfortable, and it was like on 80% off one day when we were there. So I got this light pink and gold speckled tank top from A New Day at Target. I got this red top from Universal Threads, which is a Target line. It's super cute, perfect for the holiday season. Moving on, we have a lot of yellow stuff. The first is this top from Altered State. It's got velvet sleeves and it's more of a baseball tee. She thought that I would love this, not only for dressing up for game days in college, but for baseball season this year. I really, really like that. I got this baseball style sweatshirt from Old Navy. I might put something on it, like I might vinyl something on it about um, my school or something, or I might just leave it plain. I really, really like that. I think it will look super cute with my hunters. I got this 90 degree like cardigan that's like completely like fleece lined. It's so warm. My mom has one of these in gray and I literally borrowed it all the time. So I got this one. Um, it's from 90 degree by Reflex, which is the sister company to Yogalicious who I work with. I love their stuff and I got this in a size medium. I also just got a yellow puffer vest for obvious reasons. Um, I wear vests a lot during baseball season just because there becomes an awkward point where you need a jacket, but it's like too hot for a jacket. So vests are my, my happy medium. I got the most adorable like white Sherpa, not Sherpa, it's like a teddy Sherpa kind of jacket and it's so warm and soft. This is from TJ Maxx, we picked this up in like October so I don't know if they still have it. I really like that and cannot wait to wear it. The next things are from my grandparents. I made a huge Zapple order and I used a, a code and then I had tons of Z points so I was able to get everything for like $120. I got. Um, which was awesome because I did get a lot of bang for my buck. The first thing just came out of the wash because I had just worn it and it is this black sweater. It's got little balloon sleeves and it's just a mock neck. The next sweater I got is tan, navy, and white and it's got the cutest little sleeves where they flare out. I really like that. I got this turtleneck which is just like a tan and then the sleeves are super short on it and it's definitely more of a crop style so I think with high waisted jeans this will be super cute. It's got a big old turtleneck. I also got this sweater which is a turtleneck but it's kind of more of a cowl neck because it's so loose and it just looks like this. It's got flared sleeves and this is a one size fits all and this is like a bigger one size fits all. It's the exact way I like my sweaters. This is another one size fits all sweater and it is rather cropped. The sleeves are gonna be short on you if you have arms as long as mine. Um, I love the black and white stripes and then the three tones on it are literally so cute. I think with those brown booties, this is gonna be super cute. I got this gray sweater, which I also have in yellow and I featured in my last haul. It ties in the back, which makes it not so wide, but um, it just looks like this. It's a little bit cropped and it's got some balloon sleeves as well. I need to stop looking at the viewfinder, but I'm not used to filming on a camera with one, so I keep looking. Next, I got this white ribbed turtleneck. It's not really a turtleneck, it's more of like a mock neck, and it's a sweater, not really, just like a t-shirt kind. The sleeves um, are three quarter length, and they flare out a little bit. I got this skirt, which was super big, but luckily, my grandma in New York can sew, so she sewed this bad boy up for me real quick, and she took about two inches off the waist. So if you wear a zero, this skirt is gonna be too big on you, but it is just a tweed skirt. I love it, I cannot wait to wear it. I think I'm gonna wear it with that white sweater that I just showed tucked in, maybe with my tights and some black boots. I think that this is the cutest skirt ever. 
I just wish it didn't run so big so that I didn't have to have her sew it. I also picked up this yellow rain jacket. It is a little bit on the shorter side. Um, that's the style. I don't mind. And then it is lined with navy and white stripes in the inside, which is literally so perfect for me while I'm at school. I also really like the hood because I can wear this during baseball season while I'm here just because it rains so much. So this will be the perfect little rain jacket with my hunters. The last thing I got I thought was going to be this like super heavy white coat and it turns out to be more like a bathrobe honestly in like how thin it is but it's still super cute. I think I'll like wear it driving and stuff. It's a long white coat. It's a Sherpa material and it's just got one button. It is super warm. It's just not what I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, that's my last thing from Zappel from my grandparents. The next two things are from my other grandma and I got this off-white sweater from Old Navy. It's got maroon and then like a silver stripe all the way across. And then she also got me this Old Navy jacket. You guys know I'm on a huge jacket kick right lately. This is just like a mauve coat and it's got white, um, it has a white lining. It's kind of Sherpa material, sort of not. This is definitely like a cropped fit. It's supposed to be shorter and then it's got little zippers on it because it's definitely like a warmer style moto jacket. I love this. It's seriously so cute. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm sorry that the light keeps going in and out. It's raining outside right now. So the next few things I picked up I actually had gotten a pair of shoes from my aunt, but I got them in two different colors. So I returned the pair of boots and I picked up this stuff from Old Navy. They were having an additional 30% off their clearance. So I was able to get all four things for like 25 bucks. The first is this yellow velvet tee. I think this will be so fun for again, both school and baseball season. Um, I got this maroon flannel dress and I love it. This was $6 with 30% off. Like, are you kidding? So cute. I think with over the knee boots, it will be super fun. I'm going to wear this shirt today because it is New Year's Eve when I'm filming this. And I literally love it. Look at the velvet with the sparkles. So pretty. Can't wait to wear it. And then this sweater, which I wore when I filmed this makeup look. It's just gray. It's the same as that off-white sweater I showed you earlier, but just with a black and gold stripe. It's, again, a mock neck. This cut is so flattering on especially on myself I think so I'm really excited about that sweater I have so many sweaters now guys the next couple of things I just picked up on my own while I was in um, New York just because I was shopping and I had gift cards and like money so I got this white ribbed turtleneck this is like a tee whereas the other white ribbed turtleneck was like a sweater I've had a couple of Hollister turtlenecks that I literally have worn so many times since freshman year that finally were getting so gross I was like it's time to get new ones these were ten dollars a piece they have lettuce um, hems on the turtleneck and on the sleeves and then I also got it in yellow for layering for school next year and for baseball season of course that's like how many times can I say that in this video and then I got two pairs of jeans as well. I just got their medium high-rise pair. And I also got another medium high-rise pair, but this pair has zippers on the bottom. These were $7, and they're so cool, guys. They are like wide leg pants. They flare out a bunch, and they're super just rad. They're like so cool. And I did get a gift card from one of my uncles to TJ Maxx, and I picked up this 90-degree black cowl neck, like, hoodie kind of thing this isn't like a sweatshirt but you know it's got fleece lining it's super warm I love the cowl neck it's got ruched um, detailing on the sleeves and I thought that this would be perfect for school next year I have so much yellow but I don't have that much navy so I thought that this would be perfect and then I picked up some hangers to hang up all that stuff on my clothing rack which is currently filled to the brim I definitely need to do a closet clean out after this Christmas because I was super blessed and received so much I was spoiled rotten and I'm so thankful for that so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, be sure to leave them below, and I would be happy to chat. A lot of fun stuff is happening over on the blog, so be sure to check it out. I will try my best to link things below, but I can't promise just because a lot of things are being sold out as we move out of winter and onto the spring clothing. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks, guys. See ya.